All right, you guys, so I've been gone for a minute, but I completely apologize if you've been following me on my other social medias, that's not even a big deal to you because you pretty much see me every day but today's video is going to be a tour of my desk my painting setup all the boring stuff that you guys constantly ask for but i just have never put in like one dedicated video i've explained it before in like a bunch of segments and other videos but i've never done a full video on it okay so down here we have our supply corner when i say our i mean mine when i say mine i mean yours because this is our channel and I have like projects here that I'm working on. I have another one here. You can probably hear if you follow me on TikTok, you know exactly which one this is. Comment down below if you know which one it is. Here I have all my paints. These are all Angelus acrylic paints. So have pretty much every single color. Here is my favorite thing ever. It is my paint bucket marker. And I have some brushes in here, but the star of the show is these paint markers. These will last you through anything. They're awesome, they look great. The colors show up like pretty well. You'll see it all over my desk, so when I'll show you my desk, you can you can pretty much see a swatch for every color. <laughs> Duller, which dulls your coat so it doesn't look like it was bathed in baby oil. We have white paint, which you need a lot of because you need it to make colors lighter. I don't really use a lot of black to make stuff darker. We have finisher, which makes sure your stuff stays on and looks cool. And we have deglazer, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically nail polish remover. And then, last but not least, we have my 3D pen. But that's not even last, so I don't know what I'm saying. We have these giant bottles of just like really cheap acrylic paint. Just cause you never know when you're gonna need it. Like it has saved me sometimes when I was working on a project and I didn't realize any big bottles of favorite things are these sauce containers. Basically how I use these is like with these paints, you have to mix whatever color you want. So if I want a custom color, I mix it myself. And usually some people have like expensive glass containers or just like little glass containers to put mix their paint in. But these work even better because they're plastic and you just cover the top of whatever paint color you made. And because there's no moisture, it will stay. Let me know what other weird color, weird paint art stuff you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video.